With PSSE, Siemens PTI offers a comprehensive high-end analysis software solution for all your transmission system planning needs. The PSSE base package can also be further enhanced to include a rich ecosystem of optional add-on modules. This demo will show you how to get started with the PSSE PSCAD Network Data Conversion Module. Here, the equations solved in transient stability versus EMT tools are shown. On the left is the transient stability phaser analysis solution. On the right is the EMT differential equation solution. EMT analysis is widely used for studies of power electronic devices, HVDC, SVC, STATCOM, wind and solar inverters, etc to study unbalanced fault conditions or to perform other specialized studies. Building EMT models used to be a difficult, manual process. It is time-consuming and error-prone to enter data manually, and the computation of network equivalents and setting of initial conditions was challenging. The eTran program solves these problems by leveraging existing data and solved conditions in PSSE and translating them into PSCAD. To begin, start PSSE and load a system from the PSSE example folder. The familiar Save NW case is used for the demonstration. The power flow case and the slider diagram are loaded in PSSE. We will focus on the circuit near bus 3011. Note that PSSE dynamic runs generally use a constant current representation for real power loads and constant admittance for reactive power loads. The load should be converted using CONL before running ETRAM so the PSCAD and PSSE dynamic results will have the same load dynamics. The power flow should also be solved as it is PSSE that determines the initial conditions for the final PSCAD case. We will then save this power flow case to a file called savenw.raw. Next, we will start the eTran program to translate portions of the circuit around bus 3011 into PSCAD. The first page of eTran allows you to retrieve previous eTran settings from a file. The second page in eTran is where all input and output file names are entered. Start by entering the pssc.raw file name and which version of PSSE was used. Next, the PSCAD output file format is chosen. For users of PSCAD v4.6.1, select v4.5+. The PSCAD output file name is entered. A .pscx extension is used for recent PSCAD versions. We also tell eTran to create a network equivalent. An option also exists to generate Python scripts which automate the process of splitting a PSSE system model into transient stability and EMT portions which run simultaneously using a hybrid or co-simulation techniques. This is demonstrated in a separate video as part of the eTran Plus for PSSE or co-simulation product. On page 3, we identify which portions of the system are to be modeled in PSCAD. Options include entering a starting bus and end buses back, zones, areas, or a list of buses. We will translate bus 3011 and everything in a three bus radius. On page 4 of eTran, we enter other simulation parameters, including the simulation time step, finish time, time to take a snapshot, time to initialize devices and machines, etc. The last page of eTran presents a summary of the input and output files, and pressing Convert will instruct eTran to perform the translation. The screen now shows a summary log, showing the status of the translation. Numerous warnings and errors can be generated, so this log file should be reviewed carefully. The last line shows the full path name to the PSCAD case that is created. Now that the case is created, let's start PSCAD and load the case. First, the eTran.pslx library should be loaded. Next, we will load the savenw.pscx case we just generated. Notice that the desired bus is ordered first. 
And since we have selected three buses back, we have a small portion of the network around bus 3011. ETRAN auto routes the circuit and draws it as a single line diagram. It is capable of translating and generating circuits of any size and can move portions of the network into subpages if page size limits are reached. Also notice the system equivalent subpage. ETRAN computes the Y admittance matrix of the full network, zeroes out the elements modeled in PSCAD, then does an LDU reduction to the 2 by 2 boundary buses. This is a robust and precise method and works for any combination of boundary buses and circuits. The equivalent circuit will precisely match short circuit, open circuit, as well as steady state conditions. When we run the case, the PSCAD voltages, currents, P and Q flow in the entire circuit will precisely match that in PSSE. For example, the power flow in the source at bus 3011 is measured in PSCAD as 2.586 per unit and precisely matches the power flow computed by PSSE. Let's go back to eTran and change translation options. This time we will enable the DYR translation and substitution library features. We will also model more of the network, this time choosing 20 buses back, which is effectively the entire circuit. Converting the circuit, we get an updated PSCAD case. Unloading the previous case and reloading the case, we now see the larger circuit. ETRAN translates all standard generator and control devices from the DYR file. These models have been validated by comparing step responses in PSCAD to those in PSSE. Previously, we did free lunch translations, taking PSSE modeling data and translating that into PSCAD. This case uses custom models entered in the substitution library. These custom models get initial condition information transferred from PSSE, so they get initialized to match the PSSE power flow. For example, an HVDC link requires the converter transformer tap settings, HVDC power order and direction, and initial reactive power flow and number of in-service filters. This information is transferred to the PSCAD models by the pink box initial condition components. Every object in the substitution library database is given a name, which uniquely correlates it with a single object in the PSSE case. The syntax is E underscore from bus underscore to bus underscore circuit number. Notice that the transformer and line near bus 3011 have been substituted with custom models from the database. In this case, the line is set up with plots and a fault with a reclose operation. Databases of detailed PSCAD models for every device in entire countries can be developed, allowing quick, easy, accurate simulations of any size of network, using PSSE base cases to determine initial conditions. Additional features not shown in this video include running PSCAD and PSSE transient simulation in the same study, i.e. hybrid or co-simulation. The ability to run the PSCAD process on parallel processors using a tool called eTran Plus for PSCAD. In conclusion, eTran allows the creation of the most complex PSCAD simulations of any size, with full initialization of any custom model based on the PSSE PowerFlow solution. Passive network equivalents or dynamic interfaces to PSSE transient stability programs are automatically created. This video demonstrated some of the capabilities of the eTran translation tool, which is now part of PSSE V34. Thank you.